And I do want to say this too, because a lot of people miss they 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 misunderstood what I was saying. Well, I said what I said, but King Yella mentioned the dancing part. New York always been a dancing oh, type city. <laughs> that was King Yella, but yeah. you know the Harlem shakes and all that. That New nah, York. Yeah, that's, that's what I was about to say. Like the dancing shit that he talking about. He's saying like New York was never dancers. I I ain't gonna lie. Like you were saying, we got mad dancers. We got mad dancers. All types of shit. Mad moves before any of this. The, it just made the drill shit even better. Cause it's like, all right, you see how when Chicago niggas was drill rapping and shit, and they talking about, yeah, little kids was listening to it, but it wasn't like little kids was really like bump. Like you gotta think about it, it's two, three, four year olds, they don't really care about what they were saying. So now we doing that, but then we got these little dance moves. We got two, three year olds doing TikToks and shit now to our songs, and we talking about killing niggas too. Like you get what I'm trying to say? Now the influence is a little. Feel me, it's different. It's a different type of push. They ain't had that. So he, he mad saying all types of shit, talking about we dancers and shit. It's getting us more views and shit. Why are you mad? Like, it is what it is, bro. It's that little kids out here really getting sturdy. But how do you, but wait, how do you feel about these kids listening to your lyrics and you're talking about harming another black person? Nah, see, that's a little different though. Little kids know what they doing too, feel me? Like, and a lot of people know that no kids is, feel me, involved in this shit at all. And it mainly the influence of, like we're not trying to stay them in the wrong way, but it's just like more of a, like I know certain kids look up to us or if they listen to my lyrics getting sturdy and shit like that, I don't want them to go ahead and drop out of school or nothing like that. If I see a little kid that's my fan, I'll most likely tell them, yo, keep going to school, do good, feel me? I'll, I'll mainly try to point them in the right direction than point them in the wrong direction. So it's like, even though they bumping our music and all that, you can't really tell a little kid what to do. At the end of the day, these little kids got a phone and they got YouTube. I got a loose. My little sister had a better iPhone than me for a second until I started getting my shit together. Like, <laughs> like, what the fuck going on? Like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, it's real out here. Like, little kids is having access to certain shit. You can't stop them. They going to mm -hmm. get it done regardless. So it's like, you just, the only thing you could do is point them in the right direction. So that's what I be doing. That's how I look at Man, it. Man, I, I really like your perspective. Um... On, on the whole situation, because New York, you know, they they really they really got out their body for a little bit, man. Like for two, three days straight, man. Like <laughs> there's a lot of New York niggas in, in, in New York, man. Y'all love that shit, man. Like you said, it made a lot of people an opportunity to get out of their situations. Nah, real shit. So that's why I was like, I look at it. I don't look at it in a bad way. And all the people that be like, feel me, like the mayor and all that, try to make it seem like I just look at it the way it's getting out, and then them trying to stop us. Is like that's preventing us from getting out, and that's how we get in trouble. Because it's perfect example. Let's say if New York drill rappers could have had shows, I understand he prevented it because of certain shootings. But if you could do that, you could have police escorts and shit like that at these shows. We all get money, certain people, and get up out of here. That's it. Everybody, you know how much money people would have made off shows right now? How many, like, even the ops, drill rappers, you know how much money they would have, like, we would have been up some shit. We gotta we gotta do it a different way. We can't we can't perform out here in New York. We gotta perform in Jersey and all types of other places with our New York music. When our main fan base is in New York, feel me? But you see how at least Chief Keith and them before they got banned, they all had a yeah. chance to perform. Yeah. We don't even be getting a chance to perform. Like <laughs> that's crazy. Like niggas had a chance to perform over there. But they shit got shut down because of shootouts and shit. They didn't even have they didn't even, they said fuck it. We not even gonna give these New York kids a chance to make some money or do anything. Like, it's over, we shutting it down. They got to figure it Damn. out. That's just how it is. That's just how it is. I don't know. Shit weird, but.